investigators hired a forensic acoustician, Dr. Harry Halim, to analyze the sound waves on the tape to recreate the recording made of the shooting. Dr. Halim placed a telephone in a nearby room and recorded the shots through the open line. The murder weapon was fired and recorded over the telephone. The test firings were compared to the shots on the police audio tape. The world of concrete is so full of people with new ideas, fresh ideas. They're working together. They're coming up with new mix designs. They're making new things possible we've never seen before. These state-of-the-art mixers use heavy-duty pumping systems to push the concrete where it's needed. You have to have a mixture that flows uh, through the pipes uh, from the pump at the base of the structure. And you want to make sure that the concrete doesn't set before it gets all the way up to the top. There's much that's hot and new and exciting in concrete today. Computers also play a vital role in the modern Indy car. With over 50 sensors on the car, real-time information is transmitted to the pits while the car is on the track. It gives the engineer quite a bit more information that he can go back and look at. Like the other children, Corvaris White's fascination with the caterpillar grew almost as fast as the caterpillar's appetite. Oh, yeah, see what? We kept on getting milkweed plant because the caterpillar ate off the leaves off of that one. And then when we brought in more milkweed plants, we got more caterpillars. Guys, how are your caterpillars looking today? Mine's looking good. I thought the students would enjoy watching the process of a caterpillar turning into a chrysalis. Anybody know what color? We became very interested in butterflies. Orange and black, yeah. Okay. All right, guys, look at that. So we began purchasing butterfly books and butterfly videos. As the Safari Triathlon took its toll on competitors, survival became the name of the game. Time for the bubble wrap suit. <laughs> Guys, would you like to pop my bubble wrap suit? We're on live TV. That's right. People in New York City are actually watching this junk right now. Hi. Oh, oh, hold on. Somebody took my wallet. Okay. Oh, hi. How are you? You, sir, right there. Mr. Bubble Wrap. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. This guy's got a problem. <laughs> I think I just got out freaked. Here we go. There you go. All right. All right. There you go. Nice to see you. Okay. Beyond Death continues here on A&E. Ghostly apparitions have convinced some of the existence of an afterlife. Now researchers are trying to document and understand this haunting phenomenon. Dr. Nichols is investigating a 120-year-old house in Archer, Florida. Its current owners report a wide range of haunting phenomena. Different areas of the house are 10 to 12 degrees colder. They're um, like tunnels of air that come down, and it's a cold spot. You can walk through it. It's pretty good. You can see the original color here, the yellow. Look at that. That's Linda and Bob are restoring the house to its original style, down to the color of the paint. They feel that they are living harmoniously with the spirits of the house and are more amused than frightened by the haunting phenomena. Today on NASCAR Angels. Let's head over to Cars Medics. Coats of pearl to the top of the paint. And then we'll clear over the top of the pearl. 